Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another Hey Conte Rewind video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids. I know this DLC came out back in May, and I'm barely getting to it, so bear with me. Uh, and what I'm basically doing right now is just going around the entire map, opening up all the chests, completing all the mysteries, and collecting all the artifacts. This took me a little over eight hours to complete. Which Ubisoft did a really good job on the map size. I didn't expect the map to be this big for being a DLC. Uh, so good job, Ubisoft, for for completing this DLC. Uh, a lot of the things that they did work on was fix all the bugs and glitches that they had. Uh, I know I played this game when it first came out, and they had a lot of glitches and a lot of bugs. To the point where if you were playing two hours of your playtime would be erased and I encountered that a couple times and it frustrated the living crap out of me. Some of the the interactions in the game wouldn't work very well and it would definitely uh, stop you from completing certain things and it was a big headache but with this no problems good job so basically the storyline takes place in Ireland where you're gonna do a lot of quests on this this DLC um, what you basically do is you establish a working trading route for Dublin which is ruled by Eivor's cousin Baird and Avor basically offers to help him uh, establish a trading post in Dublin um, to the point where he's the best in Ireland and they both need to be able to have a good uh, relationship with the king of Ireland, Flan, and what he does is basically send both of them on different adventures and quests uh, to unmask all his enemies which are the children of Danu and you pretty much go around the entire map finding clues just like the the main missions from Assassin's Creed Valhalla you go around and and find all these clues you do missions and they'll give you clues and um, they did a really good job with this just because they added different enemies and different monsters which was a plus for me that they added monsters on here um, it made it definitely more fun to play um, the entire game did take me from start to finish I'm talking about with no deep with the, the actual storyline of Assassin's Creed Valhalla to the DLC it took me hundred and twenty eight hours to complete every single thing that's with looting every single chest um, collecting all the artifacts and uh, completing all the mysteries in every single region which is a long time for a video game but it's definitely worth it um, just because it keeps you busy and it's a very entertaining game uh, they did a really good job with this so I'm definitely giving it a two thumbs up it's definitely on the top three Assassin's Creed games and I will stand behind that. It's definitely a, a, a fun, 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 fun modern Assassin's Creed game. So, yeah, you guys could go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video. Peace out. Sail on the sea With the keys to the cage And the devil to pay We lay to fiddler's green
Be ours and by.